being loving and caring and sensitive and passive and submissive and vulnerable and empathetic. And that's not my feminine side. That is my wholeness as a man. Privilege is invisible to those who have it. I think it's really important, especially for white men, to say, have you noticed it's just us here? This is a conference to open the eyes of all of us, but particularly white men in leadership, who have an opportunity to change the way they talk about inclusivity and intercultural competence. If I don't feel included, I'm not going to bring my best game forward all my gifts, all my contributions. There are only four reasons to do an integrated women's leadership strategy. To grow revenue, to improve operating profit, to enhance company reputation, and it's what great companies do. We cannot fully empower women and girls unless we engage boys and men. We have to shift the fundamental paradigm that it's a partnership model and that we're all in it together. The mainstream conversation about what it means to be a man in the 21st century, in business, in personal life, in our culture, in society, in education, and how we parent, it's here. Gender Leadership Group, we're leveraging the value of the differences between people, particularly between men and women. And we created the Better Man Conference to take this conversation to organizations and cities around the world. This is the next TED, as far as I'm concerned. When we, the millennials, start to take the reins, the expectation is it's going to be equal. We as men have both the power and the responsibility to step up for gender partnership and everyone wins, including us.